Hey everybody, so we got some very sad news last night from the NFL world. John Madden passed away suddenly at the age of 85. As you guys know, probably the majority of the, the ones who watch this channel are probably around my age, and they remember Pat Summerall and John Madden calling games for the Washington Redskins. You knew it was a big game when John Madden and Pat Summerall were calling the game. I mean, in today's world, pretty much it's Troy Aikman, John Buck, um, you know that, or Joe Buck, I should say. Um, you, you knew that when, when it's Buck and Aikman, it's probably a big game that they're calling. But back then, you know, Pat Summerall, John Madden were like... I mean, they were basically legendary behind <laughs> behind the uh, the camera, behind the uh, microphone, and um, you know the they were like the perfect combination of yin yin and yang. You know, what I'm trying to say is that you'd have Pat Summerall, who he was like that even toned kill, you know, voice like, all right, it's first and ten. At the 25-yard line, Theisman goes back to pass. Passes it to Art Monk. Art Monk catches it, goes into the end zone, touchdown, Washington. You know, whereas, like, in today's world, the um, analysts and uh, the play-by-play -play people, are, you know, try to put some excitement into it. You know, they're like, um, you know, and they may be like, Santana Moss in the end zone for a touchdown! You know, uh, but it worked for Pat Summerall. And then, of course, you know, John Madden providing the, co the color commentary, um, having some of the most funniest um, lines. And he's not trying to be funny, I think, but it's just, it was his nature it was his character you know he would spend five minutes talking about the the blimp and circling pieces of the blimp and you know and and we were joking on twitter about how john madden would have like the most captain obvious uh, statements but we still loved them for it you know like well they need if they can get 10 yards then they'll have a first down yeah, that's usually how it goes in football, right? You know, you move the ball 10 yards, you get a new fresh set of downs. Um, but uh, it was just so much fun. You know, I think that was one thing that was really missing from football for me. Honestly, in the past several years is not hearing that voice, that color commentary, from John Madden calling a game. Um, you know, there, there's still some of the older guys left, and you know, who, who do call games, and it does kind of, uh, you know, kind of throws you back a little bit in time, and it kind of makes things a little more familiar. But there was just so, I don't know, it, it's, it's like a nostalgic type of thing nowadays. Um, when you hear... You go back and you watch YouTube and you watch, you know, these old games and you hear Pat Summerall, John Madden. It throws you back to a time, for me, of when I was a kid growing up watching the Redskins play and, you know, just just the, a level of excitement, you know, hearing Pat Summerall and John Madden. Uh, you know, again, you know, Pat Summerall's dry, uh, no-nonsense play-by-play -play mixed in with uh, John Madden's uh, playful color commentary, and it was just a match made in heaven. I mean, nobody, I'd never heard of one person in my entire life who was ever annoyed by Pat Summerall and John Madden. You hear a lot of people who say they can't stand this analyst and that analyst, and, you know, Chris Collinsworth, of course, gets a lot of hate, and you know, even Joe Buck gets a lot of hate. And, you know, you don't hear that about Pat Summerall and John Madden. At least we never did now. 
keep in mind, too, there wasn't the internet and there wasn't social media back in those days. So you may have heard some people, you know, talking about, hey, those two guys just, you know, cringeworthy. But honestly, everybody that, you know, you talk to, if you see their post on Twitter about John Madden, nobody had any anything bad to say. They were all very, uh, just, you know, reminiscent of John Madden. And just how, I guess how perfect was it that uh, Madden was able to watch the, the special on himself with his family during Christmas. You know, it was like a... I can, I can only imagine, like, you know, you feel like you're at the end of your life and you're sitting back and you're watching this tribute to you and you know feel like you you've maybe had some accomplishments or or whatnot maybe you feel unworthy of the tribute but you sit back and you you listen to it and you watch it and you reminisce and you feel like you know this is a good point to where i can say hey you know that was my swan song and then you know, you wonder if that's what it was with John Madden. I just felt like, you know, after all these years when Pat Summerall passed away, uh, we just never really heard much more from John Madden. And I know John Madden um, wasn't in the best of health. Um, he had, like, major heart surgery. Um, I, I couldn't remember if he had a massive heart attack or what it was, but I know he had, like, heart surgery. And... You know, and after that, we never really heard much out of John Madden again. You know, wasn't on TV, wasn't really doing much of anything after that. Um, so he probably wasn't in the best of health, you know, for the past few years anyway, I'm, I'm assuming. But it's just, you know, I was thinking about it the other day when when I saw the previews for the John Madden special. And I'm thinking, you know, I wonder how much longer John Madden has. Um, you know, I always want my favorite people like that to last forever, right? You know, uh, at least live to be 100. <laughs> um, and then, you know, I'm thinking this, and then a couple of days later he passes away. I mean, it's just... Um, you know, it's it's hard to take. You know, a lot of a lot of the people that I've grown up watching in entertainment, sports, movies, music, they're passing away, and it it lets you know how important life is and how short life is. Uh, but John Madden will definitely be missed, um, just as Pat Summerall's missed. I can only imagine, uh, I think I posted this on, on Twitter, and I said, you know, if there's football in heaven, we know for sure who's calling the, the plays or who's calling the game. It's Pat Summerall and John Madden, and you wouldn't have it any other way. All right, folks, take care, and I will see you in the next one.